Welcome to How to Bleach and Dye Your Hair by Shelly Cha. Hi guys! So what we're doing today is we're going to be dyeing hair this hair. It's time for a change, you know? But before we start bleaching, here are some of the things to keep in mind of. To ensure the safety of your scalp, don't wash your hair a day before you bleach. Keep as much natural oil in your hair as possible. It is important to know that each bleach is different, so please follow the instructions written on the product. And your roots get lighter faster than your ends. Also, a hair dryer helps to bleach your hair even more. And last but not least, be aware of the deadly smell. Now, if you ignored all of the above, let's begin. Step number one. Mix your bleach and developer. Start by mixing your bleach and developer. Basically, the developer determines the intensity of your bleach. Make sure to mix evenly. You don't want to turn out like a Dalmatian like I did. Whoops, was that too much of a spoiler? Anyways, prepare some foil and tie your hair in sections where you want to bleach. Just like how I did. Step number two, apply bleach on your hair. Apply bleach on your hair thoroughly. Depending on how high the percentage of your developer, the lighter your hair becomes after one bleach. My developer is 12%, so not much damage is done, but it takes longer to bleach, so it ends up being damaged anyways. Uh, it's best to use a bleach that suits your purpose, so go with that. But it'll turn out just fine, will it? Step number three, check your progress and fix it. Always, let me stress on this word, always check the progress of your bleach when you're doing it alone. You will be surprised, but not in a good way. But also don't panic, it'll be just fine. If you find any patches, go back and fix them. Always remain calm when facing a crisis. Mm -hmm. Step number four, optional but recommended. You might see that your hair is awfully yellow, so here's how I fix mine. Instead of using a purple shampoo to tone down the yellowness in my hair, I dyed it purple. I wanted some color in my hair, so I gave it some color. But normally, hella hair dye does not last for long. They last for about a week or two. So for my purple hair, the color faded and then gave me a silverish blonde color. Now, would you like to see the results? Drum roll, please. Ta-da! Here's how my hair looks like after the dyeing. Not gonna lie, I really loved it. It could have been better. There are still some patches, but it looks nice and natural. And also not kidding, I spent a whole month getting this done. I didn't realize that I had to use 10 bottles of bleach, which is why it took me forever. So here's what I learned from bleaching my hair alone. Number one, risk of patches and inconsistency is high. I don't think there needs to be an explanation for this. Just look at my hair and you'll see why. Number two, I would have saved more time if I got a higher percentage of developer. Eh, developer. Because I only got like 12% developer, it took way longer for my hair to actually get lighter. Number three, you end up using a lot more bleach than you would expect. So I recommend you to order more and even if you have bleach left over, you could use that to touch up your roots when it gets longer. Number four, I found out that bleach really works well when it's wrapped in foil. The bleach actually develops well in foil and I could feel that it was like hot and also avoid touching bleach with your bare hands because you'd feel the burning sensation and boy, it's just not fun to deal with. And moving on to the last and most important lesson that i learned was the aftercare of your hair is crucial because i found that my hair just kept getting drier and drier even when i was using conditioner and keratin so if you're getting your hair bleach it's really high maintenance because if you don't take care of it properly then there's a high risk of it actually snapping and you don't want that so if you ask me to do this again i'd say I go get it professionally done. Save my time. That's all for the video. Thanks for watching. Be safe and God bless you all. Love you. Bye. Love you. Bye.